for you guys. This one will be pretty uh, straightforward, pretty quick and easy. I would say we're gonna follow a typical three-step process where I give you the food item and I tell you a lot kind of generally what I think about it. And the last one's gonna be where you can find it. If you can't find it, uh, something similar maybe you can get instead of this food item, this particular one. So today we have something actually it's from Wawa and I'm not talking about the George Harrison song. I'm talking about Wawa, uh, the place. Uh, it's a gas station. I think they started off kind of up north in the US um, and then they went down to uh, the south Eventually, uh, maybe started in Jersey around that area, at least from what I remember hearing about it years ago. People, uh, friends up there, they didn't uh, know that we didn't have it down here. Then they kind of moved down south after a while. And so um, this is the uh, one of their breakfast or their lunch. It could be a breakfast. It's a, it's a Wawa bagel melt and it has ham, um, two American cheese uh, with spicy mustard. I thought this might be interesting to do because a lot of the foods that I've had have been kind of quick and easy to do like more like a kind of dessert or drinks type stuff but this one is typical for someone who's on the go i would say it uh, might be something hot and ready you can get and uh, unfortunately i did get it a little bit ago so it's not exactly the most ready one hold on sorry 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 this packaging actually has damn it this packaging actually has uh it it has different things on it, as you can see like in the front. So this is actually the uh, pepperoni melt, pepperoni and provolone cheese. But if you look in the back, they actually have the bagel thing on the side as well. And then on this side, it has another one. It has one that says uh, baguette, sorry, bagel melt, turkey bacon. So uh, they just kind of use the same wrapper for these one. But this is the pepperoni one. I think this one, believe, based on what I have for this wrapper, if they have anything in the area that I can see it, it has uh, 750, uh, 590, calories for them. Um, 750 calories for this one. Uh, saturated fat is 18 grams, 90% is uh, daily, that's the daily value cholesterol. So, I mean, this is typically something you can kind of see on there when you pick it up. I think it's probably a little around $5. You can see when you open it, it has a nice little pepperoni shear in the bottom that has a good amount of cheese on it. So, but I figure something just quick for us, a little bit big, and hopefully it's not too spicy. I don't think this one has a spicy monster on it, but you never know. Sometimes pepperoni itself can have a little bit of a spicy tinge, but not really quite ready for it. Uh, might throw you off guard, so uh, we'll just give it a try. We'll see how it is. I'm going to take I'm just going to kind of go through the phase a little quicker for today. I have, um, I'm not going to talk about one so, so. The most part I would say, immediately an impact, you can kind of tell the bread is a little bit hard. I'm not sure because I got it later. If it was not so much fresh, it's a little bit hard on the edge. You can see it's kind of tough versus the top, a lot more squishy. The pepperoni is pretty strong. I would say it is definitely the most thing that you taste uh, um, out of all the ingredients. They have uh, bread, they have pepperoni, they have cheese. American cheese is pretty good. I mean, the provolone cheese is pretty good. But I do like American as well. This one has provolone. And I think that the provolone cheese is a nice touch on it. It's a kind of different sense of um, taste to it. I'm not too overpowering. The bread's overall pretty good, so. Oh. I'll say it's a pretty good mix overall. Not bad. Um, like I said, I don't remember exactly how much it was for the price tag on here, but I don't think it's kind of ripped off when she was spent in the food for me. So I'm not exactly sure how much it is. But I believe it's a seven, maybe, no, four, four dollars. I think with tax it was about five, yeah. Um, I, I give this some just easy quick and simple lesson for now. You don't have to watch me the whole thing. Sometimes I have reviews I've had a two times where I finish the whole thing and then you guys uh, have to kind of sitting there and watch me eat it. And then I'll have to do that with this one. Then I might as well just kind of give you the whole uh, regular idea of it and then I'll give you like um, kind of the back story and you know what, what you might think it might be good for. So um, I think that's pretty good for now. I'll just leave it here and um, call it a call it a day for that one. So um, 
Hope you guys enjoyed this part of the review. If you can't find it at a Wawa, uh, just look online, see if you can find something that's similar. Maybe you can make your own little big bowl. You can have uh, pepperoni and uh, mustard. This one doesn't have mustard. This is no sauce on it. You could probably add mustard if you want to, but I would try this particular one first. Get a bagel, get the top and the bottom. You don't even really need a full pack, you just need one of them. Get pepperoni and then get provolone cheese. And that should be it, I would imagine, yeah. Uh, you can try a bite of it first, see what you think. Maybe put something in the comments if you guys like it. Give us a link to one of your own other ingredients, one of your own other items. If you made something like that similar, you really enjoy it. And uh, after that, if you want to add some other sauces like mustard or honey mustard or, um, you know, uh, cayenne pepper, uh, something like that, you can welcome to do so if you want to. So, But I really do appreciate you guys hanging out as always, and um, this is a nice little review we're going to be doing uh, for this uh, pepperoni bagel. So go check it out, uh, your nearest Wawa.